let me let me introduce uh, first uh, uh, our company EDF, and after that it was it, it will be a, a, a brief presentation. After that, uh, I want I want to share with Carlos uh, from from UNID, from International University of uh, La Rioja the case study about uh, the building apps uh, for for everything. So um, well, briefly, quickly, uh, EDF. It's a company established in, in 2006. Uh, first of all, we were, uh, remember we, we were doing a lot of things in, in the learning. We, we were producing digital contents. We were doing the support. We were doing technology. We were doing everything on, on, on the first stages of uh, EDF. But uh, quickly, we, we changed to focus on the edtech Tech, uh, technologies and um, after that in, in six years uh, later uh, our company was uh, primarily focused on, on tech, uh, technologies and as a result uh, I think the EDF company is working uh, uh, the most of our clients are universities uh, we are focused on different markets uh, the most of the of the clients are coming uh, today from uh, international areas like, like uh, US, USA, Europe, and, and Latin America. Uh, but also, of course, in, in, in Spain, we have a, a very good clients like uh, Carlos, of course, <laughs> and, and other universities, uh, public and, and private universities. So, uh, it's important to know that for me, uh, as a as a as a CEO, it's, uh, it's important to to transmit that uh, I think EDF is not a, a big consultancy company. We don't we don't want uh, a big consultancy company because we are extremely focused on on on, on e-learning, no? and that's the reason. Because uh, I think uh, our best values are that uh, of course uh, we have uh, some some honored and, and, and prices and everything but the thing i think the i think the the best values uh, and the reason because we 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 don't we don't we don't, we don't want to to be a uh, uh, a big it consultancy uh, company is because uh, we are a tailor-made uh, company working extremely close with our clients always to attend uh, to to find the, the best goals uh, for for them. No? Uh, that's the reason. Uh, I think that I'm happy for that. My my best my best uh, reason to be happy with my own company is that uh, we are 40 team members today. Uh, but the most in that moment where the 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 IT world is moving so fast and the staff are moving from companies, uh, I'm happy to to see that we have uh, nine senior members with more than eight years working on tech, and of course uh, also promoting uh, new people, uh, junior people who we are promoting and, and doing the best practice with with them no? so uh what we do is uh, very easy uh, for everyone who know the learning uh, sector we are offering the SaaS service uh mainly in in, in amazon uh, services with uh, support and with uh, with uh, with sakai and, and um, other solutions we are offering support to on um, on three and um, also development uh, specific development for our clients um, the and um, one of the keys that we do is uh, data integration with uh, for new instance in, in, in clients so. and yeah I think it's uh, one of the keys in, in, in at this moment is the LTI, LTI apps. No? Uh, we are producing, uh, we have a top record uh, since uh, four years old, uh, producing producing LTI, LTI apps for our clients, uh, 
Oxford University or, or Universidad de Chile or UNIR as, as well. Uh, improving new features for, for clients in universities, the covering features that the virtual campuses uh, are now covering and offering the, a, a solution, a well done solution in terms of the LTI integration with the virtual campus are always uh, clear and, and easy. And the last, of course, uh, we are working in Sakai. Uh, we have a travel record on Sakai, uh, 14 years <laughs> working on, 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 the, on the Sakai master, uh, improving books, uh, uh, rewriting legacy code to new code and improving new features, uh, improving new features in, in, in Sakai. Uh, during all this time and um, yeah this is the the edf uh, presentation presentation uh, i want now to introduce the case study uh, of apps for everything uh, uh, with me i want to introduce carlos muñoz carlos is the the it manager from the unir university that is the international uh, International University from La Rioja. Is, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, right. yeah. <laughs> and La Rioja is where the good wine is coming. Good wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish wine. Spanish wine is, is called from La Rioja, not from Spain. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let me let me to to explain uh, briefly uh, some benefits, and after that, uh, Carlos can explain explain. Uh, Explain us uh, his his project and have the opportunity to 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 ask Carlos uh, different topics. Okay, so yeah, uh, speaking about uh, the the important thing that the the, the inter governance uh, is, uh, as you know, it's, it's not a manage uh, 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 IT department. It's not a easy task. Um, and it's necessary in a way to be professional and escape escape quickly from the I need one thing more and and, and the typical topics that that are always uh, putting barriers in your in your in your long term. So uh, the the reality now in in the universities are that the apps are used in in every stage, uh, apps can be used on face-to-face. -face, apps can be used on online. Can apps can, can be used for administration or management? And yeah, as a result, uh, we are we are transforming the the, the way that the the user uh, use the the applications, and uh, it came to the to the fact to to use uh, apps for everything. You know? It's the best, the best, or the key factor uh, for the for the IT governance department is to to build apps for for everything and use it for for everything. Yeah, uh, benefits is uh, I think are, are clear. Uh, speaking about management, uh, uh, I think it's easy to maintain uh, apps for everything uh, from only 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 one. Uh, from the side of the economic of course we are saving we are saving money uh, that's that's good for the boss i'm sure <laughs> oh, <Carlos. laughs> yeah, that's right <laughs> <laughs> but also uh, i think it's it's a uh, uh, we can found a, a a new benefit that is the the methodology used for for our users that is the the way that the university use the apps, the user experience, and, and how uh, they they have to 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 move into the the technological ecosystem, it's a good opportunity to to build apps with the same concept as well. Yeah. And of course, uh, data protection is uh, another another key factor in a in a in a time in, in this age, uh, in this time when the cooperative uh, solutions are offering some service, uh, uh, universities, managers, and, 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 and 
yeah, managers are always asking for what's about my data, no? Uh, what what is happening with with my data stored in in, in the in the cooperative uh, provider? No? So producing apps is a is a good key to to have your own data stored and and in your in your own house or, or under your control no? and complete the RGPD or, or FERPA in, in the case of uh, United States. No? And also, yeah, the uh, last one, the interoper interoperability. Sorry, uh, it's a it's a good way. Uh, if we can, if we can plan to use the our apps to share and distribute with other colleagues and universities, and and, and maybe why not no? use use it as an as an open source. Uh, uh, applications no? um, um, and get the benefit to to distribute it and collaborate and, and make make growing the application between between some actors. No? Uh, there are a lot of uh, actions that can be can be great for that. No? So uh, maybe it's a it's a first step no? in the in the in the call new generation digital learning. I, I don't know no, but anyway. I think that the most the most important is to uh, maybe listen listen to Carlos uh, about the the project and how how they are managing the the one. Okay. Uh, uh, well, firstly, thanks Salva for the opportunity of, of uh, being here and also Pereo. Uh, yes, as, as Salva said, it's very important for. Uh, our institution as a, as a big university in, in online learning in Spain uh, to build applications uh, referring these these three points, uh, especially the economic and, and uh, every point who is related with any kind of benefits it's bring to our to our company. And and so for, for this uh, for the use for the use case, uh, I would like to to. To tell you about uh, the travel. Well, I would like to to, to begin with uh, the starting point from uh, at, at, which, at which we started uh, perhaps uh, more than ten years ago, and which is the current state of the technology in the university, uh, and which were the, the main uh, changes we we made during this travel. Uh, at, at the very beginning of the university, we, we had uh, a few students. We, we have only one learning management system, which, uh, which was uh, uh, built with uh, an internal uh, programmer's team. And it, it was made uh, with, uh, uh, with our own resources and uh, with the functionality we need for our methodological uh, and, and, functionali and functionality uh, needs. So uh, we, we were uh, working with this uh, scenario during more than five or perhaps six years. And after that, uh, the university grew. There were, uh, there were more than 10,000 uh, students and uh, the university staff wants to uh, introduce new kind of uh, learning technologies, uh, and we were uh, when we talk about new learning technologies, we, we were talking about a uh, new learning management system, uh, which uh, was in the market at uh, at this time. And so we, we made a, a brainstorm and we put on the table different kinds of learning management system. So the, the selected one for the pilot. Uh, was Sakai, and we met uh, at this point with EDF, which was a, a good partner to introduce this uh, this uh, learning management system in our institution. Uh, so during uh, the first years of Sakai, we made different changes. We we, we made different uh, uh, adaptation of uh, Sakai core and Sakai functions to our uh, to our flows and, and our processes. And after these uh, first years, we uh, the institution uh, grows again. We currently have more than uh, uh, 
80,000 80, students. Uh, and uh, we, we, we started using uh, another kind of learning management system, proprietary learning management system like uh, Canvas. And today we are also using another kind of uh, open source solution as Moodle. So uh, our scenario is uh, complex because we have uh, different kind of learning, learning, learning management systems. Uh, everyone is uh, built from different technologies, uh, PHP, uh, ASP, uh, Ruby. So it, it's difficult to be to build a, a singular solution working for every one of these learning, learning management systems. And so uh, we have to deal with this uh, and we have to, to think about which could be a good solution for uh, brings all the economic management Methodology, methodological uh, benefits uh, without build and specific solution for every learning, uh, learning management system we use. And so uh, with, with this, uh, with this uh, scenario, we, we, uh, we think about which could be a good solution for us. And we start uh, to work with uh, LTIs and we start to bring out a uh, common uh, and, and a standard process of our institution out of the of the LMS. Uh, the processes we, we try to to adapt to a global uh, to a global uh, tool uh, at the beginning uh, were processes rela related with a, a grading system. So we, we currently have uh, universities at different countries. Not, not only in Spain, we have universities also in, in different countries in Latin, and also we have university and an university in, in Miami, in, in the United States. And in, in every country, uh, there is a different uh, legislation and there is different kinds of, of, um, uh, of legal rules uh, which apply to, to how uh, institutions or, or education institutions have to build the final grades of the students. And, and, and uh, the points they have to pass to, to get uh, the final degree. And uh, so, so far for our institution and in the, in the text, uh, in the technical uh, side, it, it was it, it's difficult to, to adapt the same, the same uh, tool for every platform and for every kind of legal requirements. So, our first step uh, five years ago was to build uh, an, a global LTI connected with every uh, kind of platform. So for instance, Sakai, Moodle, Canvas, and the proprietary one we, we also are currently using. And we built an, an, a first LTI, uh, as I said, uh, built for uh, grading uh, calculations and also for uh, the internal process to build uh, the final document for every degree in which uh, the, uh, every study, uh, every student has uh, their uh, final grade. And uh, it, it was clear for us that it was a good solution because uh, we changed from uh, maintaining different solutions for every uh, platform to maintain only one solution integrated with every platform uh, and uh, as this was a, a very uh, a very important and, and a very uh, uh, satis uh, satisfying solution for 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 the institution we think and why not we, we can try to extend this uh, scenario and, and this uh, this situation to another uh, point so of the methodology so we have uh, different uh, points of our methodology which can be uh, externalized from the platform. For instance, we, we are a 100% online university uh, and so the, the, the video conference system is a, a very important point for us. So why we have to integrate every uh, video conference tool with every platform if we can have an LTI in which uh, we can integrate the video system and then integrate this LTI with the uh, platform we want. And so we, we, we build 
and, and we develop uh, another tool with this scenario. And currently, we have not only one video conferencing system because uh, we can and uh, we can associate uh, this LTI with a kind of proxy, and we can choose for every uh, degree or for every uh, uh, university which is the best video conference system for for them, and we can change the the video system uh, taking into account which is the particularities of, of every degree or of every uh, university. And this is really uh, flexible and, and this is really uh, uh, economic, economically cheap for us because we only have to maintain one tool, not one integration of every video conference system in every platform. And with this approach, we have built more than five or perhaps six different tools and it's clear for us that it's uh, a, it was a good idea because uh, the management of the team the management of the support level the management uh, of data protection the management of every kind of situation you, you can think is uh, is more easy with this approach that, uh, than if you to, to have to, to manage with a specific integration of, of uh, these tools into every platform. And sometimes this is even impossible. For example, in Canvas, uh, it's impossible to, to, to make an, uh, a specific integration because it's a, 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 a SaaS model and, and we can uh, change the, the platform code. So uh, at this point, or at, at this moment, at, at the end of this travel, uh, we have uh, currently, I think, eight different kind of tools uh, working with four kinds of platforms. We only maintain one tool. It's clear that we have to maintain the communication between the tool and different LMS, but it's more uh, easy that if we want to maintain the wall tool uh, in every in in every LMS. Uh, and so regarding the, the final point, which is what happens with the data, as we work with a, a, a global LTI integrated with different platforms, it's clear that the entry point of our data for business intelligence or for every uh, or for, for uh, uh, every every use you, you have to 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 do with with this data, it's uh, it's more more easy to have access because there is only one entry point. We have all all our tools are deployed in in Amazon Web Service, uh, and uh, with different kinds of Amazon technology, we can uh, easily access uh, with tools like Tableau or uh, another another ones to all this data. And to provide our directors uh, uh, control panels about not 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 only about uh, economic <laughs> targets, which, which perhaps have the most uh, control, uh, the most extended control panels, but also about uh, how students use these LTIs and, and which is which at the points of uh, in, in which they have more difficulties or they have more uh, they spend more more time uh, studying and because. We have also problems accessing the data from different platforms, and uh, because Moodle have uh, data model different from Canvas and different from Sakai, and it's really hard to to build a global uh, uh, panel with different sources and different uh, uh, data models. So uh, building a global LTI with uh, a, a central uh, model, it's. Uh, it's uh, a great uh, approach for also uh, promote the, the 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 use of the data produced by 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 these by these tools. Okay, uh, uh, Carlos, uh, you have a, a a question in the in the chat. Uh, okay, the 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 is is asking about where can I read the paper on this case studio? Uh, <laughs> studio if, if you have a formal. It, it, yeah, it, it's a human experience, not a paper experience. <laughs> so the, this is our experience with uh, 
with, with the use of, of learning tools in our institution. So th this is not a formal uh, case study. So it, it's a way to, 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 to share with you our experience more than, <laughs> more than formal paper. So uh, I share with you that, that it's, it's, a, it's a complex uh, scenario, and, and, but it's also gratifying to, to, to see how you can uh, help uh, uh, the institution colleagues to, to improve the, their jobs and, and, and also to, to, to use their time in, in very productive process, not, not perhaps in, in, in process that, that not uh, lead to, to a clear objective. So I don't know if, if there is a, another kind of question. Ah, I think there, there is, is. Let me just pop in. Didi had asked earlier, how do you keep all the unique, how do you keep track of all the unique school requirements? Yeah. Uh, okay, we have a, 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 a special uh, specialized team with. Uh, eight uh, team members which are working uh, with a uh, 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 scrum methodology working on, on these kind of tools so uh, the key for us is to keep uh, this specialized team completely separated from another uh, technical teams in the institution so ten, uh, learning tools are very special tools and uh, so uh, we have to manage these these uh, requirements with with uh, an specialized team because they they are also very specific and very special uh, requirements. So we use uh, uh, different kinds of, of approach. We, we have uh, dynamic uh, methodologies because we have to to quickly adapt uh, the tools for every legal uh, update in, in the countries, and. We, we, we have a, a, a flexible and, and, and a very specialized team to, to deal with this and also with, uh, with uh, the partnership of, of uh, EDF, we have a different kind of, of uh, senior uh, people which also help us with, with the same. Still muted. Uh, we are at time. I want to thank you both for taking your time to share this information with us. We really appreciate it. Um, and we want to, again, thank EDF for their contributions and support of the conference as a whole and Aperio as an organization. They're great partners and we're glad to have them.